Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a hub mod. Let's crack on. So before we get started I wanted to go over a couple of reasons as to why um, I'm going to do the hub mod. Um, I'm not, first of all I'm not doing the hub mod to begin with to go silly low. Um, my tyres front and rear won't really allow me to do that. Um, I've got 225 45s on the front, 235 45s on the back um, and they're just too too fat basically. So for me to get it much lower than what I'm currently running I'd have to do a lot of work to the inner arch liner and stuff and I'm not doing that today. The reason why I'm doing the hub mod is the suspension is quite springy, it's quite bouncy so the Stance Plus kit on the van, it rides really well. It's been on there for about, let's think back, five months, I think. Yeah, it must be five months. And it's set, it settled itself down, it's settled in. Um, the suspension's decent, it rides really well, but it is quite bouncy over some of the big bumps. Uh, if you get a little bit of a wavy road, you're sort of, it's like riding a roller coaster. So that's because the spring is, is like at its longest point so I guess science wise it's got more distance to travel so hence the sort of the bouncy stuff being the stance kit it's quite a low budget kit there's no no way to adjust it there's no way to adjust rebound or anything like that so you're gonna just constantly have this bounce so theoretically if the spring is tighter there's gonna be less bounce hence the hub mod so hopefully I'm going to get about 25 mil um, through the hub. Um, I don't want to go too stupid. I don't want to get um, near the CV joints or anything like that. I don't want to get anywhere near those. Um, I want to be safe. So it's going to be clamped up really tight afterwards. And then obviously I've got the ability then to raise the van on the suspension. But theoretically it's still being as low as it was. Right, so let's get started, let's get the wheels off, let's get cracking. Okay, once you've got both wheels off, I'm going to bring you in here to show you this bit. Okay, so what you've got in here is obviously the, the inner arch um, cover. Now we go, what we're going to do is we're going to take this um, Torx key out here, uh, we're going to bend the bit of metal back and then with a heat gun I'm just going to apply some heat around this area to just to try and mould the, um, the inner just up a bit. Um, Give me a little bit of clearance because straight away I know the wheel will catch on that um, once we go any lower. So let's get that done. When you get these screws out, keep them because they're quite handy actually to be fair. Okay, screw out. Um, what you can see here, we're going to just bend this bit of metal up into the frame, up into the wheel arch. Okay. That's out of the way. Uh, I'm going to cut this little bit off here. All right. Cut that off. And then we're going to apply some heat to this and I'm going to just try and push it up a little bit, remould it a little bit just to get rid of this. Right, let's get that heated up. Heat gun. Okay, I'm just going to let you know, I am not going for ultra, ultra low touching the ground here. I'm literally trying to better the Stance Plus kit. Let me take you in here and show you. Okay, this is the Stance Plus kit. 
as you can see I am a finger depth so about 10 11 mil off the bottom of the strut and I've also got the bottom adjuster that I can get rid of too to get even more lower the problem with this this spring is now full it's open it's wide open so it's quite bouncy so for me I'm gonna drop it through the hub um, 20 mil 25 mil maybe if I can get there which means then I can raise this up 25 mil and compact the spring slightly thus hopefully getting rid of a tiny bit of the bounce all right next you're gonna undo the top bolt for the drop link the bit that's attached to obviously to the suspension strut oh. uh, use an allen key in the middle to stop the nut from moving around and then just undo okay once you've removed the drop link on both sides you're now going to want to take out the two bolts that hold the suspension strut into the hub Okay, so what we've done is released the hub from the strut and I've moved the strut out of the way and I've got the um, disc caliper and everything like that resting on a pump stand so it's not going to go anywhere. This is what we're going to use, we're going to use a 57mm hole saw. I've removed the drill bit inside because I don't need that bit. Um, what you're going to want to do as well is get yourself a bit of wood and you're going to put that on top of drive shaft so you don't damage the boot when you go through and what we're going to do is drill through there happy days so make sure your drill is fully charged because it could take a little bit of time and we'll just slowly go through and use the weight of the drill rather than you pushing through because you still don't want to go straight through just in case you damage something show you this that is what you're trying to remove a tiny little piece of metal that holds your strut in place <laughs> right so what I've done before I put everything back together is I've removed um, this bit so this is the basic the brake line hangers uh, and the sensors and everything for the brakes I haven't done this purposely so I can go really really low um, I just want you guys to know that but I've done it because I can then go lower um, I'm gonna get this in as low as it will go sensibly without getting anywhere near the CV boot or the drive shaft but for while it's here and what I'm doing it makes sense just to get rid of this bit um, so happy days let's jump around the other side and I'll show you what I did. Right, so this isn't the, uh, the nicest way to do it, but we're gonna have to use my favorite friend, the hammer. Um, so first we're gonna take these out. So this is the sensors and the brake line. Don't want them getting caught. And then using your hammer, we're gonna work one way, then the other, one way, then the other. Gently tap it either side and what you'll see is it's starting to come out so let's get that done first and then we'll move on to the next step okay um, I, yeah so I hammered it out now I didn't record that part while I was hammering it because it looked like I don't love my van uh, right so the next step for me I'm gonna just grind out these welds and remove this mount uh, and then we'll tidy it all up and I'll show you what it looks like when I've done that. Right, so the strut's ready. Um, I've removed the um, mounting points for the brake lines, so they're gone. So we've got, what I'll do is I'll probably I'll cable tie them somewhere safe in a mo. 
So the next step is to drill through uh, and remove the uh, little ridge of metal at the bottom of this that's stopping the strut from going any lower. into the hub modded bit and get it clamped up same as the other side okay so I'm using a jack just to help me get this in I'm gonna keep a bit of pressure on it and give it a wiggle drop it down again a bit of pressure on it give it a wiggle drop it down all right so keep going with that you might have to give it a little bit of a friendly loving with a hammer but you know that's my favorite tool I'm gonna get these bolts done up nice and tight and then we'll get the drop link put back on as well get these nice and tight if you like the video so far smash the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe hit the little bell icon to get notifications of my next videos as they come up and run into the channel but yeah it's been quite a tough mod to be fair um, Truth side of it, this one was a bit of a nightmare on this side, um, but she's in. I'll just make sure these go up real tight. All right, I'll tighten that up in a mo. But yeah, let me finish doing this, and then I'll get back to you with the next step. Okay, I'm happy that these two are super tight. <coughs> With the amount of effort it took to get that strut back in anyway. <coughs> Probably didn't even need to do these up. <coughs> right, super, super, super tight. Right, so. I'm going to just drop this down slightly and then we can put the drop link in. Uh, so I'll just move her out the way a little bit. Let's go around that way. Just lower that down slightly. Right, get this done up. And then we can look at getting the wheels on, getting her back on the ground, and then sorting the height, height out, making sure the ride height's okay. Happy days. Okay, so um, I managed to get the wheels back on, managed to get back on the ground, took it for a little drive and um, it was rubbing straight away. I was, I, was, I was too low, I hadn't adjusted anything yet. Uh, so what I've managed to do, you'll see here, it was one finger to start with and I've actually managed to take it up quite considerably. Um, guesstimates uh, would be about 40 mil. So uh, in other words, I reckon I've got 40 mil again to come back down again when I need to, um, if I want to go nice and low. Uh, the spring's nice and stiff, it's nice and secure. So I'm happy with that, I've got a bit of travel left if I need it. Uh, right, so let's grab this wheel back on and let's get her on the ground and see what she looks like. Hub modded, but at a sensible height. <laughs> So 
So hopefully, um, the ride height that I've managed to get, I mean, I've been playing around with the ride height quite a bit, um, hence why the video's not finished yet. But I've just been trying to get it back to roughly where it was. Um, but trying to, trying to get rid of some of this bounce. Uh, that's the worst thing about the Stance Plus kit. Although it's cheap um, and cheerful, there's just no adjustments. Um, so hopefully, by doing this, it will ride a little bit better. So that's done, back on the ground, um, and I've pretty much got the ride height that I had before. So I'm super chuffed with that, guys. Absolutely super chuffed. But well, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Um, this is Tom, this is T-Dabs, and that was the Hut Mod. Uh, in another video, I am gonna see how low I can get this bus to go. Um, so stay tuned, that'll just be on the Stance Plus kit, no added extras or anything like that. And we'll just see how low we can get it to go. But remember, when the channel hits 1,000 subscribers, I'm looking for the first person to comment, I am 1,000, and you'll win a free hat and you'll win a free jumper. Stay safe, stay at home, do some mods on your own driveway.